Things by Cultured Code is my absolute favorite macOS application and personal task manager. It's very well designed, it's reliable and it works just beautifully. In this video I would like to give you a quick sort of beginner's guide to things to help you stay organized. Full disclaimer, this video is not sponsored, I just love the app and want to share it because I found it incredibly helpful in organizing my both personal and work lives. So Things is a personal task manager for Apple devices and is created by a company called Cultured Code. It's available as a one-time purchase, which I personally appreciate a lot in our world of subscriptions. And I have to admit that it's probably not for everyone. There are no team plans, no Gantt charts, no fancy and complicated stuff like in some corporate task managers. But I just love the native experience how it works offline, how it's fast and reliable, and it just looks stunning in my opinion. So this is how things look like for me on my computer. As you can see, the application consists of two parts, the left side bar, which you can drag and drop using this slider, and the main application window. You can also create new windows by hitting this button on the top right corner. What you see on the top left are different tabs, like Inbox, Today, Upcoming, Anytime, Someday, Logbook, and trash, these are sort of built into different views of the app, and below that are personal, family and household, admin and finance, and so on. These are what's known as areas, are they basically just folders that I created by my own. So at the moment we are in today's tab, and the first of all that you can see here is that it shows calendar events, which is YouTube recording session, is the event that's happening for me at the moment, and below that are tasks that I assigned for today. They grouped by the areas they belong to, like in this case is personal, admin and finance and business, and I can change that grouping as well as the display of the calendar in the settings, like so. So this is a calendar, you can uncheck this tick box, show calendar events, I prefer to keep it on. And in the general settings you can check this checkbox, group to do's in the by project or area, which again I prefer to keep them grouped like so. As you can expect you can create a new task by pressing the command N and type in what you need to do, maybe in that case I'm gonna type in file a company tax return. And one of the greatest features of things, uh, which I appreciate a lot, is the fact that you can set separate dates for when you intend to start working on the thing and the deadline, which are, as you can imagine, pretty different things. So let's say I need to file a company tax return with a deadline of, I believe it's 31st of March next year. But doing this on the very last day would be pretty unreasonable, right? So I'd better do this before the deadline. So I can set a date when I'm intent to do on this thing, maybe next Friday. So somewhere like that. And this gives me a peace of mind because I know that this task will appear now in my today's view next Friday, while at the same time we still have quite a few days left before the actual deadline. Now if I open this task and let's say, you know, I change my mind and I'm gonna send a follow-up email to Rick for whatever reason and just remove from today's view. And this task will now appear in the Anytime tab, which means, as the name suggests, I can do it now anytime. So for now, let's just return to today's view. And you can notice that this thing over here has a round circle icon. And that indicates that this is actually not just a task, but a project. And if I click inside, the project means that it's basically a collection of tasks, like a group that serve a common goal, in this case, start a newsletter. And as I start progressing through this project, let's say I completed a bunch of those tasks, we can now see that this project, this circle icon, has also been filled up a little bit, like indicating that this project is now moving on. Next thing I would like to show you is a quick entry, which is another great feature of adding new tasks to your task manager by pressing the control space. And this little pop-up window, it can appear not just inside the Things application, but on top of any application. And let's say if I open my mail inbox, and this is the mail selected, and I can press Control Option Space, and this will create a new task with this email linked back to the email. So let's say if I change the date for today, click Save, open Things again, go back to today's view, that is the task that I just created from that email, and I can click on the message link and this email will appear over there, which is super handy. But let's just pretend that this task is not really important, for whatever reason. I decide that, you know what, I don't want to do this now, and maybe, no, I don't want to keep it in my anytime view, so maybe someday I'll do this. So I can open the task and change the day to literally saying someday, which I find super helpful to decluttering things and just, you know, keep all the important things that I intend to do maybe next week or next two weeks, and all the rest I keep in the someday bucket. And as you can guess, this task will now appear in this someday view. 
So in a nutshell, that's how this app looks like. I know it seems pretty simple, but it actually allows you to get so much things done. And that wraps up today's super quick beginner's guide to things. I really encourage you to give it a try, maybe start dumping out all of your thoughts and things that you want to do in this task manager and start organizing them by different buckets and different views and ultimately get things done. If you would like to see what other productivity applications I use every day, check out this video that shows 10 my absolute essential macOS applications. Well, bye for now and I'll see you next time.